Joint News Investigation has revealed that the nation stands to lose up to $10 million in a National Lottery Authority contract for the supply of point-of-sale terminals. The contract with Techstart Africa is the purchase of NextGo N5 point-of-sale devices to expand the operations of the NLA. But Joy News has discovered that while the product was sold at between $172 and $344, the NLA agreed to purchase each device at almost $850. Techstart Africa has already supplied 5,000 of the devices to the NLA for which the authority in December 2018 authorized the release of 20.4 million CDs into an escrow account of the tech company. More in this report. According to the document available to Joy News, the price of the product appears to have been significantly inflated. In a letter dated October 23, 2018, which was to be sent to the Director General for signing an onward transmission to the PPA, the price of the Nesgo N5 Smart POS terminal was pegged at $207 per device. According to this letter, the cost of the 30,000 Nesgo N5 POS terminals was $6,238,423. The company compared this price to the previous point-of-sale devices procured by the NLA and argued that the price of the Chinese product compares favorably with these given the proprietary features available for the e-kiosk project and its dual functionality for both lottery operations and the VAS platform. The devices previously bought by the NLA were in Janito, bought at $365 each, and TPS 300, which is currently being used by the NLA, bought at $440 each. These devices were procured in 2010 and 2015. Joy News obtained an invoice from Shenzhen Technology in October 2019. The price range given on the invoice was $172.260 per device, depending on the number of terminals one was buying. The specifications given mirror exactly what was offered by the NLA. According to this invoice, a buyer who is taking less than a thousand pieces of the N5 terminals would be required to pay $260 per terminal. If the buyer was acquiring more than 10,000 pieces, however, a terminal would cost $172 per device. Therefore, since the NLA was buying 30,000 pieces, the authority should have been paying $172 per device and not $860. It should be noted that the $172 is FOB Hong Kong, Techstart Africa, quoted $650 or $637 if you consider the 2% reduction in price as your FOB Hong Kong price per device. We reached out to a Nigerian businessman, Tunde Ogunbade, whose company has been using the Nesgo N5 Smart POS terminal in Nigeria and Ghana. He was in China in June 2018 at the material time that the NLA delegation was there. His company buys large numbers of devices from Shenzhen Zingodu Technology Limited, including the Nesgo N5. He said the price of the Nesgo N5 terminal ranges between $180 and $300. The $300, he said, is the price of the top range customized device. It's really between that 180 to 300 dollars price range, right? So, yeah, but but again, I always say this: all things being equal, being I don't know what the local cost is, I don't know what imports is, shipping, demolition, it's all these things that happen with when you're doing international, and it's not it's not unique to POS alone. It's just anything you import. So, no. yeah. assuming that the NLA bought the highest grade, the price is still inflated by more than a hundred percent. According to documents available to join you so far, the NLA has taken delivery of 5,000 pieces of the point-of-sale terminals. In December 2018, the NLA authorized the transfer of 20,413,864 Ghana cities into an escrow account of Techstart Africa for the purchase of the first 5,000 devices.
on March 13, 2019, Techstart Africa wrote to the NLA saying that the first 1,000 of the Nesgo N5 smart point of sale terminal had arrived at the airport and seeking the release of 940,000 CDs for payment of duty. On March 25, the company received 4 million 82,772 CDs constituting payment for the 1,000 terminals. It would appear from this figure that a terminal cost the NLA 4,082 CDs or $849. By our calculation, these 1,000 pieces should have cost the NLA 827,130 Ghana CDs. That is less than 1 million CDs but the company paid 4,082,772 Ghana CDs for them. Assuming customization increased the price of the terminal by 100% using the invoice we obtained from the Chinese company, Nesgo N5 should cost at most $344 per piece and not $849, more than double the exaggerated amount it seems obvious that the price of the POS terminals has been inflated by more than $10 million.